When you think about a mortgage, a loan to buy a house, what pops into your mind? A 30-year note that you slowly pay off over time on your forever dream home? What you might imagine may not be the best option out there. Today, we're talking to Bob Lampkins at Hills Bank, and he's going to stack up adjustable rate mortgages, fixed rate mortgages, and government loans like VA loans and rural development to explain which one may be your best option and why that answer might surprise you. Hi, I'm Emily Farber, a realtor in Iowa City, and this is Bob Lemkins, a mortgage lender with Hills Bank. Hi, Emily. Thanks for having me. I really appreciate it. Uh, as Emily said, I'm Bob Lampkins, home mortgage lender with Hills Bank. Uh, we do have many options available to you, uh, help guide you through, make the best decision for you, whether that be a fixed rate loan, a government loan, or one of our in-house uh, adjustable rate mortgages. You can find all of Bob and my contact information in the description box below this video. If you're watching this on your phone, just tap the title of this video and that description box will pop right up for you. So let's talk about home loans. As an agent who works with a wide variety of people, I find myself hearing some things from my clients over and over. One of those topics is about loans. A lot of people start the home buying process just assuming that they will get a conventional 30 year fixed rate loan. When we dive a little deeper into their home ownership plans, I hear that they might not be planning to stay in the house for longer than five or 10 years at which point I ask them if they have ever considered an ARM or an adjustable rate mortgage. A lot of home buyers react to that suggestion a little negative. What can you tell us, Bob, about when somebody might want to consider an ARM? Yeah, um, many reasons that someone might want to consider uh, using our in-house ARM products. Uh, one could just be a particular situation that maybe their situation does not work out for a fixed rate loan. Uh, could possibly be just our rate is lower and they want the lower rate or maybe they don't have the 20% down payment and don't want to pay the PMI and of course we don't charge PMI so maybe that might be another reason to do our adjustable rate mortgage. But a big reason is something you've already touched on uh, and that's that people realize that they will not be in this home for more than five to ten years so in that case it might not make sense for them to do the traditional 30-year fixed rate loan. Um, simply because a couple reasons I've already kind of touched on, but our arm rate is oftentimes lower than the fixed rate. The process is definitely simpler, less documentation needed. So if you're not going to be in the long in the house long enough to take advantage of the one benefit it offers being fixed forever, uh, then why do it? So you don't do it. <laughs> so it sounds like the expected length of time that someone plans to live in the house is a very important factor in this decision. According to the National Association of Realtors, the median length of time that Americans spend in their home is 13 years, but home ownership duration varies a lot by region. Data shows that median home ownership duration ranges from six years to 18 years in the 100 largest metro areas here in the US. According to this data, homeowners in the Iowa City metro tend to stay in their homes for less than 10 years. Alrighty, what about buyers who don't have a lot of cash to put aside for a down payment? So they're really interested in government-backed loans like FHA, USDA, or VA loans. Yeah, government loans can be a good option, um, like you mentioned, for some, uh, and we offer those as well. However, again, more times than not, we find that we're able to find better options with our in-house ARM products uh, that might make more sense than the government loans for, for most people. Uh, cost is a big reason as government loans typically have higher costs, closing costs, fees that go with it, things like that. They can also have upfront and or monthly PMI. Now they don't call it PMI, but it in effect is, works as the same thing. It's another expense that they have and adds to okay. the total cost. Uh, the process, the documentation requirements, also much stricter for government loans. Uh, so again, government loans, they can be a great option for some, but many times our own, our in-house loan products are, are better for them. Okay. Obviously, interest rates are always in flux, but in general, how do interest rates compare between arms, fixed rates, and government loans? That's a great question. As you say, rates are always in flux. Yeah. 
Uh, conventional and government loans actually can change. They change every day, it can change every day. They can change during the day. It happens sometimes. Our in-house rates also change, but not quite that often. Um, you know, maybe a handful of times a year, uh, typically. Um, it can happen at any point. I can't say when, but they just don't change day to day like the fixed rate loans do. Uh, our adjustable rate mortgage rates are usually right in line with the fixed rates, sometimes lower than the fixed rates. And so the rate is one factor, an important one, when considering your various options. Is there anything else about these three types of loans that people tend to ask questions about? You know, not too much more than what you've already hit on and we've talked about here. Uh, people like to compare the differences and they want to understand of them course. so yeah. that they can make an informed decision and figure out what is the best option for them. With us having all of these options available, we get to help them understand the differences. Ultimately, all that matters is what is best for the customer. And we are basically, you know, we're here to help educate them and help them make the best decision for them. Alrighty, thanks for joining Bob and I on today's video. If you're thinking about buying a home here in Eastern Iowa and have any loan specific questions, I always recommend local lenders and Bob is a great local lender to reach out to. If you'd like to chat about your real estate goals, be it buying, selling, or relocating, I would love to talk to you. Hey, it's been fun, and I'll catch you later.